Hello guys, it's uh, Ken from Miniature Wargaming Warriors um, and I've got a nice treat for you today. Um, I've just got a new starter set at the US Army. Um, so this will be getting built and painted um, for the channel, for the games, for the battle reports. So this is my new project to try and get this finished. I want to get this finished, hopefully within a week, painted, built and everything. Um, so today is Monday, I'm going to start it from Tuesday, so assembly will begin Tuesday, so by next Tuesday I'm hoping to do another video of it all done. But I've got the Army's United States book here as well, so any of the units we've got in here I'll have a quick read of what they are and what they do, just give you a quick rundown of them. So as always, that's the front of the box, nothing on the back. And uh, you've just got a collaboration of different uh, kits that Warlord do. Sherman on the side. A little rundown, a little bit of information, what's actually in the box. Um, and you've got a half track there. So, best part for all gamers. Get the cellophane off. Alright. Okay, so. Hopefully there's lots of models in here. off. Right, okay, so first thing out, we've got um, some damage markers for the vehicles um, in there, and this was apparently packed by Marila S, I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm really sorry if it's not, someone could tell me how to pronounce that, that'd be perfect. Um, but the first thing we've got It's only got a suitable bag. Is a half pack by the looks of it. So comes in two sprues. As the first sprue, so you've got the tracks there, wheels, so armor panels, the winch, jerry cans, uh, thirty cal machine guns down here. I have no idea what that is, but I'll find out at some point when I go to build it. I have no idea what that is. Um, looks like seating in half track, um, some stowage stuff, a couple of helmets. It's like a driver's body, maybe. That's like a driver's body, yeah. There's a body there, so you can build the driver and put them in it. Um, backpacks, maybe. I'm not too sure. Steering wheel. Um, that there's the ring which the gunner of the 50 cal here can uh, stand upon and um, do a 360 arc so you can swing around so you can swing the gun around. So that's the half track. So let's have a look at some stats for that quickly. Let's get that, over, get that on. Right. And in the box it says, I think it's an M3A1. So, cost of it, inexperience 79 points, regular 99, veteran is 119. Weapons, it has one pinnacle mounted HMG with a 360 arc of fire. I've never used a HMG, so that's pretty cool. Um, that'd be interesting to use that. Damage value is a plus 7 because it's an armoured carrier. Uh, it can transport 12 men. can tow light, medium or heavy anti-tank guns, light or medium houses, or a light anti-aircraft gun. Options may add up to three additional pinnacle mounted MMGs, one covering the left, one covering the right, one covering the rear, 15 points each, and it's got the open topped special rule. So I'm gathering that means if I am in a situation of where, say, this is my half track facing forward, enemies here, if I want to fire my MMG at it, I can't because there's only one facing that way, one facing that way, one facing rear. So it's not like 40k where I could fire the HMG plus the three pinnacle MMGs. I would have to just fire the HMG. But if I'm here, I'm gathering I can fire the HMG and a MMG. Um, rear, I'm gathering the same and also that side. So that'd be interesting. 
but they're 15 points each. Um, so yeah, so that's that's the half track. Vehicle. Next vehicle looks like a Sherman standard Wardle kit. So yeah, just a just a standard Sherman kit. I've all, I've got a couple of couple of Shermans for my British Army that I need to paint up. So maybe as part of that challenge get them built and painted as well so I can show them off next week with just a standard wall or kit for a Sherman. And we shall get the get, get the rules as they is written. So yeah the um M4 Sherman we go for like, like just the standard M4. Cost 148 is an experience, 185 regular, 232 veteran. Uh, weapon one gyro stabilized turret um, mounted medium anti tank gun with coaxial MMG, forward facing hole mounted MMG. Um, it's got a plus, nine plus, um, so it's a medium tank for its armor, for its damage value. Uh, options may add a pinnacle mount MMG 15 points on the turret. Can upgrade to a pinnacle mount MMG to a HMG for another 10 points. Um, it's got special rules so it easily catches fire. If a roll on the vehicle damage table results in a vehicle catching fire, add D3 pin markers rather than just one before taking a morale test. Um, HE instead of causing D2 HE hits, a HE shell causes D6, so they don't like HE. Fin sides, um, very vulnerable. So you get an additional plus one modifier to the side armor, so it's a plus two. So that's that's quite interesting. Um, so I'm gathering if you've got an anti-tank gun of a plus two or already, gets another plus two. So that's plus four. Wow, that's that's really good. So anti-tank gun could actually an anti-tank gun could just yeah could destroy one of these because you get a d6. So if you roll a six plus the four is ten. So that's um that's pretty crucial. That's interesting to know that to be fair. I did not know that that's for that version. Uh the other word, versions have it got that special rule. Just looking at the 76, can't see anything on the 76, so it must be if you take that one, there must be a difference in points. Yeah, there's an extra 15 points. Take the M4A1, M4A2, or the A3 uh, 76 mm That hasn't got that rule. That's very interesting to know. So yeah, that's that. Next, let's take a load of infantry screws. We have one, two, oh, that's a bit different. So we've got two of those. Three of those, four of those, five of these. So we've got five of these types of infantry screws, I don't know why. So I'll put that upside down. No. Same one? Is it the same one? Yeah, it is. Six. Six types, sorry. Uh, six types of infantry sprue. So the mono pose, so you can choose what uh, poses you want to do them in. My plan is to go with one uh, light machine gun per squad. Uh, one SMG and the rest will be rifles like the M1 Garand and um, the M1 Carbine. Well, Carbine, we still haven't found out which one the way is the proper way to say that. Um, I might make a bazooka team up as well if I've got any guys left over. Um, so there's just six screws of this, so I'll give you that. So you've got all the heads there, you've got options for heads there. You've got options for heads down the bottom here. How many bodies do you get? One, two, three, four, five, six. On a sprue, and um, so you've got like backpacks, um, ammo clips. Uh, you've got ammo clips there, Thompson uh, SMG stuff. So you've got M1 Grant, and you've got grenade uh, throwing arm there, uh, 
could be a medic bag. Grant, Carbine, Carbine again, Thompson, uh, LMG there, so that's the um, Browning automatic rifle. You've got the Greaser gun, I like that. You've also got a shotgun there, that's pretty badass. That's shotgun, Bazooka, uh, Thompson, or another Grant there. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that. You've also got a pistol and a holster there for an officer. So there's six or seven of them, one, two, three, Six of those, uh, that should make 36 guys, so I might have a few left over to do some playing with. Might be able to make a sniper team or something like that, that'd be pretty awesome. Um, also got some large bases, uh, pop them over there. Normal uh, warlord bases. Uh, transfer sheet, uh, you've got a choice, well, it's like, yeah, it's the US 1st Infantry Division. So these guys are going to be infantry division. You've also got um, medic. You've got an MP as well. They make military policeman. That's pretty sweet. Um, sergeant. You got. I'm not amazingly accurate with my uh, US insignia. I'm pretty sure one stripe is private first class. Two stripes is corporal. Three stripes is sergeant. Four. Uh, I think you've also got three stripes and a little bit underneath is a staff sergeant. And you've got a master sergeant or a gunnery sergeant maybe, depending on which branch of the US military you're in. But I'm not too sure what the T means. Technical or something like that. I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure, so um I'll have to Google that and look it up to see how I want the guys to look, but I'm gonna stick the decals on as well for these guys. Um, got another warlord one there. Uh, so we've got, oh, we've got another uh, large base. Right. Okay, more models. So we've got US Army 30 cal firing. Pop these out, Let's see what we've got in there. So we've got, these are metal. So we've got a tripod with a 30 cal machine gun on it. Guy holding ammunition cases, no head, which you have to put on yourself. You've got choices of heads. There's quite a few there. There's uh, five to choose from, which is quite nice. Um, you've got a guy feeding the ammo in on an ammo belt. And you've obviously got the guy firing there, because it's a three-man team, because it's an MMG. Um, just remember, if you when you get metal models, um, always give them a wash. Like with some warm soapy water because you've got like this uh, stuff, uh, like powdery sort of stuff that's left over from the castings or from the moulds. Um, but because if you put paint directly on that, you know, it can come off quite easily. Um, so you make sure you give them a nice little wash before you uh, start painting. I'll tell you what I didn't do. I didn't look up the US infantry things, did you, Ken? No, you didn't. So let's have a quick look at that. US Infantry. Right, so say for example you wanted to take a medic, so I'm probably going to build a medic into my into my squad. Uh, a medic is 23 points regular, 30 points veteran. You can't take them with experience, so you can take up to two extra men. Uh, weapons, pistol or none, as depicted on the model. The medic can be accompanied by two men, um, 10 points or 13 points. Um, I think there's a rule with Geneva Convention where you can choose to stick to it or not, um, but the Americans obviously did, so I, I would probably give him no weapon, um, and I wouldn't put anyone with him either, so he'd be on his own, just stick him by a squad, or attach him to a squad. Um, with him being that smaller points, if I've got, you know, points left over, like maybe I'll maybe I'll try and make it a bit realistic and stick a medic in each squad, maybe see how that goes. Um, but infantry squads, um, we've got. Uh, where are we? Inexperienced inventory squad. So, if we want to do an inexperienced, it's forty-two points. That includes one NCO and a five-man and five men. So with Emron Grants, um, you can add up six additional rifles for seven points each. The NCO can have a submachine gun instead of its rifle for three points. Uh, you can one man with a BAR M nineteen eighteen A two automatic rifle. So. Instead of a rifle, that's an extra five. The entire squad can be given anti-tank grenades. 
two points per person. They have a special rule tank hunters, so they can get the tank hunters rule. So that's a cheap uh, anti-tank squad if you want it. Like the Russians get with their uh, free squad, they get um, their guys can take uh, inex their inexperience, but they can use anti-tank grenades. Um, regular infantry, which is probably what I'll play them as. They can uh, they cost sixty points for the same, and uh, then they're ten points each. So for each additional guy with a rifle, an extra five for the BAR, same as that. Uh, three points for the NCO. They got the tank hunter rule as well, and uh, so you can have the anti tank grenade. So the difference between that is instead of seven, they're ten. So ten points for an additional guy. So that's uh, early in the mid. Late war is a little bit different. Sixty points still. They can add up six additional men, ten points each, three points, five, no, exactly the same. Can now carry the hands of the units now offer. Oh, so they can carry two BARs in late war. So you can have two BARs per per squad, that's quite cool. Two light machine guns. Um, that, that's pretty sweet. Um But what I'll probably do is I will probably run nine man squads. Um and the tenth man could be the medic, very possibly. That's how I might do it. Um, so yeah, there's that, and I'll give you the stats for the machine gun. So medium machine gun is 35 points of experience, 50, 65. It's exactly the same as all the others. Uh, it's team team weapon fixed. Extra selection may take up to three. Medium machine guns as one section in each re oh, that is that is cool. Three machine guns. Uh yeah, I I might be uh purchasing another order from Warlord. <laughs> Just to add three machine guns into one reinforced platoon. That is pretty sweet. That is awesome. Um yeah, that that's that's wicked. I'm happy about that. So yeah, that's 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 thirty cows. That was on a base. What else we got here? Medium mortar. So three man medium mortar team again. Five head options. Uh, he's pretty sweet. You got a guy there, uh, quite hot. Uh, he's he looks like he's rubbing his head. He's got his helmet off. So he's like been out in the sun all day. Uh, you got a guy carrying the ammunition. And you've got a guy dropping around into the tube, which you can put a head on. I think what he's trying to do, actually, instead of he's being hot and been out of the hair all day, he's maybe trying to look for targets. But they're the heads. So you've got like one with a webbing on the top there, three normal ones. And normal standard mortar from Warlord, a little bit of a different base plate. those back in there. I shall give you the stats of the mortar in a second. So, medium mortar. Right, so the US uh, medium mortar, 60 mil I think it is. Uh, the American roll medium mortar, 81 millimeter, so it's an 81 millimeter mortar. 35 in experience, 50 regular, 65 veterans, exactly the same as um, all the others. Can add a spot for 10 points. Uh, team fixed, indirect HE D6. This is from first edition HE D6, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, and also, as well, it doesn't tell you in here, you can't take a spotter with an inexperienced mortar team or artillery. So there's a little helpful bit for you. So yeah, that's the medium mortar. This is a 105mm howitzer. Cut a lot of bits in there. And then it's got here. So it's, it's like a four man gun. I've, no, I've not got a howitzer, so this is the first howitzer I've actually got. Um, I know Liam's got his IS-3 gun, which is a howitzer. 
uh, you can use it. Um, I don't know, tell a lot. I have got the 88, the German 88 from the other video that could be used as a medium howitzer as well. But this is just a dedicated howitzer. So you've got a guy that's uh, listening on a radio. Uh, looks like a guy might be ramming something up a tube, shell, and the spotter. Um, I'm going to stick this on a square base um, instead of. Uh, the round base of Wardle Spar, I just think it looks nicer and that's what I like to do with my stuff. Uh, so there's the gun itself. I'll probably drill the barrel out as well a little bit. Uh, got bits of the back of the gun that hold it in place just there. Uh, wheels. Got the gun shield. Breech. Uh, sorry, not the breech, the bit that holds the actual gun in place. That's part of the wheel for the wheels. And that looks like maybe a compass or an optics of some sort. Um, not too sure about that. Don't know what that is. That's a new one. And I think, yeah, there, that there. This looks like a ramrod of some type. So that is hands on there somehow. Not too sure. I'll have to look at the picture to work it out. And um, that's what you get sometimes with metal models. Oh, sorry. And also the heads. They're exactly the same heads as all the other metal sets. So let's pop that back in. You have to be careful because some of the little bits of metal you think, oh, that's just a bit of scrap. Like I thought at first that was a bit of scrap, but it's not. It's actually his hand for one of these models. So you've just got to be very careful when you going to chuck stuff, I don't, I like to make sure everything's dry fitted before I actually fit it and uh, glue it together and make sure I've got all the parts obviously I'll put all this together with super glue because they're metal the plastic glue for the plastic uh, what we got here so, ooh, interesting okay, I think uh, Warlord might have been a bit generous here. 36 there. Half track, US Army 105. Medium machine gun one times. Medium mortar with one pack. I have a Brucey bonus. Well, two Brucey bonuses. Uh, I said I was going to be doing another order from Warlord, but I don't think I will now. Because um, <laughs> I have 30 cal uh, deploying team. It just says one time on the side of the box, but for some reason I've got the deploying guys. Okay, awesome. So they're, they're moving up with a 30 cal three man team. That's pretty sweet. So that's another machine gun team. And I've also got another firing team. Okay, that's interesting. So that's three 30 cows. So that's the 330 cows I was on about. Um, I've got the US Airborne, so I could. I don't necessarily need to use that um, for the deploying if I want to have them on the actual. Uh, depends how I want to have them, really. Um, I quite like the look of them shooting with the machine guns, not actually moving about and deploying. Maybe if they're just moving a turn, I'll swap, it, swap the bases out and stuff like that, maybe. Um, that's pretty sweet. So. I didn't know I was getting that and that. Um, so last stuff in here. Got some more decals, so the half track decals are there. And that's the American M4 Sherman decals as well. Um, and you've got two action cards. So gives you the so it's an M4 Sherman, it gives you like the rundown and all that sort of stuff. Um, this is like second edition stuff, so it's got a 5 plus because it's medium anti tank gun, 5 plus penetration, so it can do up to plus 11. It's got the 6, it can roll. Um, and it's got a HE 2 inch, so a 2 inch template for the HE. If you take it at the medium harasser option, it's got a three inch template and the heavy machine guns give you a plus one pen as well so 
you can use that as French or American and this is British or American. Uh, last little bits in here now. Just the instructions for the Sherman. Uh, I'll show you the back of that as well just in case someone's lost their instructions and they want to just pause it. Video. I'm sure you can find it somewhere else though. Uh, US Army Infantry so it tells you what you've got and all the uh, the sprues it tells you about different bits and bobs so it just tells you all, all the information you want to need also got half track instructions as well so I'm pretty pretty happy with that especially finding out that I've got those two machine guns free of charge I'll be interested to see because I know they've just brought out a new box set version of this so I don't know if this is the new box set um, compared to the old one I'm not too sure I'll have to do a bit of Google research I'll tell you on next week's video anyway once I've had them all built um, but yeah I'm pretty happy about that so that's extra value so the medium machine gun teams I'm trying to think how much they are roughly I think about seven or eight pounds maybe a little bit more um, so that's, I don't, uh, I know the redeploying's a bit cheaper, I think they're about £5, so 7 14 even if we're looking at maybe, I don't know, £20 for those three, uh, £20 for the Sherman, about £20 for the half track, so 20 40 £60 already, uh, just for the three vehicles, and you've got the box of infantry, which are normally about 25 to 30 so that's 90 plus you've got a mortar, um, you've got a mortar team, you've got a howitzer which is at about £15, so 8 so maybe another 20 so that's 110 So you're looking at, yeah, 110 is worth, and I bought this from Triple Helix Games. Um, they had a discount as well, so they had 20% off. So it was 72, but I had a, I, they're quite cool because they, I did a bit of trading in, um, so I just traded in some stuff there as well and got £25 as well. So I got all this for 40, I think it's £42. So yeah, pretty happy about that. Um, so yeah, uh, that's it for today's video. Shall we see if I can get all this built and painted within a, in a week? That is a challenge that I am going to set myself. I'm going to give myself a week to have this built and painted and based. Because if I don't say I'm based, I won't base it. Um, so built, painted and based within a week. I'm going to spend tonight doing some research of how I'm going to paint it. I might even use some of the new contrast paints from GW. I am thinking about it. I might do a test model and just see how it turns out. Um, I might possibly do a couple of short videos on quickly painting techniques of what I've done. So maybe, um, for example, if I do a tank and I do it in my own unique way, um, see it, see how it goes, because I do like a lot, a lot of people do, I go onto YouTube and uh, try and get some inspiration from there. Uh, but yeah, give it a see in a week then with this one, but in the meantime we'll have another battle report up uh, towards the end of this weekend. I hope you enjoyed last week because it was quite long. We were quite tired and it was very hot. So yeah. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Take it easy.